Hey guys, welcome to Kiss My Lash. My name is Maya, I'm the owner. I started off in my mom's basement, upgraded to a two bedroom apartment, a tiny office space, and now we've been here at this storefront for about a year. Come on in and see what we have to offer. So we have retail hours seven days a week, 10 to six. This is mainly for lash artists because we sell lash supplies. But oh. also for your client with green skincare. Come on in. So this is our front room. As you can see here, we have plenty of lash supplies everywhere. Um, this is the brand Rish Fish. Uh, she's a local brand, really high quality products. Innovation, same thing, local brand, really high quality products. I use and love them both. We have lash lift products as well. Um, what I really like about this space is we can close this door if you ever need more privacy to chat. Um, this is my personal line, uh, Kiss My Lash Lash Supplies. So this is our home brand. I only sell 0.03 and 0.05s. So I don't sell classic lashes, volume lashes. I don't have a glue or a bonder, um, but this is my brand. We also have um, spoolies, serums, etc. This is our lash aftercare station. So we have cleansers available in 60 milliliters. We also have Prolong and foam pump bottles if you're a lash artist and you're wanting to make some cleansers for your own clients. Um, our clients love these cute brushes. We have plenty of options here. We also are a lash supply store. Something I love that we added recently, my front desk girl Jen added this, our lash bullies for clients to grab. Here we have Hemp's Lotion. We are super proud to carry Hemp's Olaplex, Fake Bake, Foot Logics. Our clients absolutely love this. If you're a lash artist, I highly recommend expanding your retail. It's such a good add-on. As well as we also sell Korean skincare. I've always had a love for Korean skincare. It's very affordable, really high quality, and a great upsell if you're wanting your clients to use a certain kind of um, aftercare with their lashes, such as oil-free. I only sell oil-free Korean skincare products. So we have our square machine right here. This is what we bring clients through on. I also like to have my prices displayed. We like to rebook our clients in person when possible, just for that added customer service, um, and also to give them maybe additional times. Uh, but we do have acuity scheduling that we like to use, as well as we just have a few crystals here, some starbursts for our clients to take. Our clients love this. This is a really um, inexpensive way to just up your customer service. So if you come on in, I've built two rooms. I um, moved rent out pretty much my entire salon. Our salon is a thousand square feet. I have the smallest room for sure. Um, when I got this space, I just had two rooms, but I've built in three. Um, if you are considering getting a storefront or a larger space, I definitely recommend uh, looking into the legalities of booth renting. Um, it's a really great option to not only um, lower your rent, but also to uh, add in extra great quality services to your salon without having the liability of having employees, independent contractors. It's nice because you're basically a landlord. Just come on back here. This is my lash room. So I have a chair here in the corner along with a mirror for my clients to check out their lashes after their service. I highly recommend having a space for your clients to set their stuff so they don't have to put it on your gross floor. <laughs> I just have a vinyl cover. I like it because it's easy to wipe down uh, between clients and it's a lot less laundry for me. This is my lash station. Um, it's important to keep everything covered. Blue pins, spoolies, micro brushes, lip brushes. I also keep my most used lash trays here along with a fan, some lash extension refill trays. Um, over here is also where I keep my most used supplies. It's important to keep everything covered always. I have a little basket here on top of my humidifier. Super important to have in your lash room. Um, each client gets their own blanket as well as just for my facials. I have a hot towel cabinet, facial steamer, skincare products, etc. On this wall here are all of my certifications. My most recent one is the Lashcast certification. Um, shout out to Tessany and Paul for putting out that awesome course on styling and retention. I learned a ton. Uh, I took their Austin, Texas class April 9th and 10th. Coming along back here, we have our women's closet as well as our sink that we use to sanitize all of our supplies. Our CS20 sterilant is here. Uh, depending on where you're located, there's going to be different regulations. Um, this is a lash room and a nail room, one of my booth renters. And then if you just turn around back there, we have a, another one.
coming back here, this is a waxing room, another one of my booth renters. And then we have a hair room back here for my final booth renter. Coming around the corner, um, I have a girl on commission. She's an independent contractor and we just keep her nail desk here. She just pulls it out whenever she has a client, as well as we have a fridge and a microwave. And then this goes out to the back door. Over here, we just have a sink and our bathroom. I recommend having uh, feminine hygiene products if you are a beauty salon. It's a really great way to make your clients feel more comfortable in your space. As well as we have a hemp solution, which is not only great for our clients to sample, um, but it's just a nice uh, extra way to make their experience better. In here, we have our furnace room. Um, there's our grouter in there, as long as this is where we put our dirty laundry. It is really messy in there, so I'm not gonna show you guys, but uh, it is really nice to just store a few extra things. And then coming back to our front room here, this is where we um, exit greet our guests. So uh, we will just bring them through here and wrap up their experience. So um, I was definitely able to run my business as a solo lash artist quite well from my home and also out of my tiny little office space. Um, but uh, yeah, it's expanded quite nicely. I never bit off more than I could chew. It's really important if you're wanting to do something like this to make sure that you look into your numbers and make sure that everything is right for you. My point is opening a salon is a lot more doable than you think. You just have to look into your numbers and just see what's feasible for you. I'm very fortunate to live in an area where um, rent is very doable. Uh, just look into booth renting. Um, if you want to have employees, have people on commission, just look into the legalities of everything for your area. Do what makes sense for you. And I hope you all have a great day. Thank you so much for watching.